This t-shirt costed me $4.79. But how? I mean, you can say there isn't any logo on it. You'd be right. But someone needed to produce it, manufacture it, transport it to my nearest store for me to spend $4.79 on it. So did the world improve so much? Or is it something else? Let's find out. We improved. But we didn't. Let me explain. As everything else in the world evolves, the fashion industry evolved too. People used to make clothes from wool, but the wool from a single sheep can be harvested only two times a year. Then people discovered that cotton is much more... Actually, let's don't go that far. Let's go to 1975. A guy named Armancio Ortega started a company and he named it Zara. A small company that has 2007 stores in almost 100 countries with a revenue in 2021 of 19 billion dollars. Zara's parent company Inditex is the world's largest fashion group and the leader of fashion industry. They managed to overtake Nike uh, luxury good brands and many more with low price goods. And here's how. Welcome to the world of fast fashion. A term that you heard a lot in recent years. Zara needs maximum of 14 days for the product to be incepted to being in your wardrobe. All that because of Zara's system. First, you research. You see what people are wearing on the social media and you give feedback to the designers. Let's take a look at this Balenciaga shoes. They were popular and trendy. Now you take that and make your own version. But be careful. To avoid copyright system, you need to have seven differences with the original product. And voila, here is your design. Now you make your workers in China to manufacture it in their massive factories and textile mills. Don't forget to use cheap materials. Put it on a ship. And at last, people globally can pay $50 rather than $500 for a pair of sock shoes in less than a week. Zara sticks to fast rhythm that rapidly delivers to their stores. Each Zara outlet sends in two orders per week on a specific days. Shipments arrive in stores at a specific time. The same does Swedish company H&M, which is the second largest fast fashion brand just behind Zara. H&M is actually where I got this t-shirt from. Okay, now some questions has been answered why this t-shirt costed me $4.79. But what about marketing? That's expensive. It is, if you don't use it smart. Did you know that half of Instagram posts are about fashion and beauty? Fast fashion brands use influencer marketing. You can see tons of it. This is their business. Their motto is make runway fashion cheap and available as soon as possible and their business model is profit only if they sell ton of clothes but there must be a catch in this business model it is too easy actually there is and it gets really dark the copyright system is <coughs> zara copied this code design made by a danish company called rain Rain was pretty established company and they can sue Zara. They needed 300,000 euros for that. Luckily, they won in Danish court. But what if a small company or an individual sued Zara? They don't have any chances against this giant corporation. Next thing, quality. The clothes are made of cheap material and after one season you can throw it away. Few washes and bye-bye clothing. Those kind of clothes can't be used in second-hand shops. Because of this, we have huge climate and recycling problems. Recycling is too expensive. 10% of all these clothes are never sold. They are just thrown away. This t-shirt takes 200 years to decompose because it is made of polyester, a material usually derived from petroleum. But there is cotton. 20,000 liters of water are needed for one kilo of cotton. And that's enough for one t-shirt and one jeans. And 11% of all pesticides on the world are used on cotton. 
fashion industry is eighth polluting industry in the world in gas emissions and it's responsible for 4% of the world's solid waste. But there is more. Zara allegedly, don't sue me please, had some accusations about slave labor and that they allegedly employed underage refugees from Syria. Some other fast fashion companies are making their workers to work with dangerous chemicals. Now we can conclude that fast fashion is sus. But what if I told you that there is more? There is even a bigger branch in fashion. Welcome to ultra fast fashion. Enter Shein. Shein, 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 I don't know how do you pronounce it. A secret Chinese company. Those guys launch around 3000 new female products every day. Their prices are from $2 to $30 and they are worth $100 billion that Zara and H&M combined. Shein is like $1 store of fashion. Forever 21, Rue 21 and a lot of the time H&M too all had the same quality as Shein but for 3% Shein's price. Everyone is using the same poor quality fabrics that fall apart after a few washes. That's why Shein is beating everyone else. They actually charge reasonable price for the quality. I mean you pay $5 for a $5 outfit. Brands mentioned today aren't the only brands in their industry. There is much more of them. Zara and HM are trying to make their brands go green. And I hope they will make it. We spent under 3% of our income on clothing. In 1950, we spent 10%. And one of six people on the planet works in the fashion industry. And they are most in developing countries. The fashion industry doesn't look like anything before. Fashion is evolving. We will see what will come next. Maybe mega ultra fast fashion. And each industry has skeletons in their closet. Fast fashion isn't an exception. But what you need to know is that this t-shirt doesn't cost $4.79. It costs much more.